Okay, everybody, in this episode, I'm going to be going over video transitions and audio transitions. These are fairly simple to, to use, and they're pretty nice here. We go down under the video transitions folder, which is found in the effects tab here. We arrow down. You can look through, and you'll find several different video transitions here. The basic ones I'm going to be covering here, you can, you can experiment with some of these, but I'm going to go with uh, the dissolves here, because this is the most common. The dissolve is basically either a fade in or fade out. It, it will work as as a fade in or fade out, or it will also work as um, a dissolve between two clips, where it fades from one clip to the next, called a cross dissolve. One thing I want you to notice is uh, down here, you will see under cross dissolve, kind of this little highlight around cross dissolve that aren't on any of the other clips right there. That is what is called your default video transition. It's just one. You have one default video transition. You can change those by right clicking and saying set as default transition. The cross dissolve is the most common. Notice that has changed now. The cross dissolve is the most common, so I'd say keep that as your default transition. Because when you use a shortcut, it's going to apply that transition with the shortcut. If you want to choose a different one, you'll have to come in here and either grab it and drag it on manually, or you will have to right click and change it to your default transition to be able to access it via shortcut of your keyboard. So here at the very beginning, say we want to fade in from dark. Since there's no video butted up against this, you can actually use a cross dissolve to do that. You can pretty much grab this, drag it, and drop it over on the edge, the beginning of the clip here. And what it's going to do, let me zoom up here, shift three to go to my timeline, plus, plus, plus to zoom up, minus to zoom out a little bit. And there we go, this will fade in. Let's play and notice of the clip course. fades in from black. What it will do is it will start at at nothing here, since there's no clip before, it's going to start at nothing. It's fading in from nothing to the video clip here. And that's basically the way it goes. If you want to grab this and drag it out, that will lengthen. The default transitions for a cross dissolve is usually one second. If you want to change that, you'll simply go out and grab the edge, and you can grab this and drag it out and let go. Let's, in fact, let's take a look and see what the default transition is. I'm going to delete that, drag and drop on the default there. Select this and you'll go up and see actually it's one second six frames. It must be thirty it must be thirty frames. Since this is twenty-four frames per second, it it's got one one second six frames there basically. So it's thirty frames, set for thirty frames per second. Now if you want this to last longer, you can do one of two things. You can double click on it and change it right here. You can change the seconds and the frames. Let's change this to two seconds here. Let me make it two seconds exactly. Two seconds, zero frames. Hit OK and it expands it out. If you wanted to make it less, just same thing, double click, and we're going to change this to, let's say, a 15 frame dissolve, about half a second, and notice it changed it. So there now it fades in at half a second. If you want it to last longer, here's a nice little shortcut. You can just move down with your mouse, grab this thing, and drag it out. And it will show the new duration down there. It says 3 seconds and 15 frames. And now we have a nice long fade in. If you want it to transition between two clips here, let's move between these two clips here, and we're going to have it transition, do a dissolve from this clip to the next. What you can do is you can just simply grab your cross dissolve, drag it, drop it between the edits here, like that. One thing that you got to make sure of, though, is this will only let you do a cross dissolve as long as the excess trimmed clip is. For, so this clip over here, if uh, you have a pre-roll of like 10 more seconds on this and then it ends, you will only be able to pull this back 10 seconds. If you have clips that are very short and you put these cross dissolves on, it has to have excess footage on both ends of the clip in either to be able to do a dissolve from one clip to the next. It needs pre-roll of this clip here as long as the cross dissolve is uh, extending over into this clip and vice versa here. It will need at least this much excess footage, which is probably that's about a half a second's worth of footage to do that cross dissolve. If you don't have extra footage before the cuts, then you will not be able to add a cross dissolve to it. This has excess footage on both sides and there you go. And the same goes for audio. But now you can extend this cross dissolve. Let's take a look at it. And then it does this nice it's gradual. Only my imagination. There's nothing to worry about. And you have that nice gradual dissolve from one thing to the next. I'm going to get rid of, I've got a reverb on there from the last tutorial. So let's play through it's that. only my imagination. There's nothing to worry about. Nice slow cross so you don't there. want. So, and then you can shorten it the same way. You can actually change when it starts happening just by sliding it back and forth as well. So now it will start the cross dissolve here and will be finished by here or it will start it here and be finished by here. So wherever you want to put that. Now I'm going to tell you, experiment with other of these video transitions. Go through and look at, they've got some wipes and they got some kind of cheesy things as well. they got like a band wipe here. Let's drop that on there and see what it does. There's nothing to work. Very cheesy. So they got some other things. they got kind of the typical Star Wars wipe where it just does a simple wipe here. If you just go down and grab wipe. 
There's has a hard edged warp. wipe there, but you can. Uh, if you double, some of these, if you double click on them, you will find attributes where you can change them as so, well. This doesn't really have a lot of attributes in it to change, but you can change your border width of, of your wipe here. Let's move over the top of that so we can see the changes that we are making. I'm going to grab my border width and expand that. And notice it, it adds a thick border as it does a wipe. So a lot of these, you will have attributes you can go in and change. You can change the speed of the duration. You can you can reverse the, the effect. You can change the color. You can do some other things as well. So. Uh, like I said, just go in, experiment with these things, uh, but let's go through the audio. And by the way, the shortcut to put on a default transition, I'm going to delete that wipe there. If you want to apply a default transition with it via shortcut, the shortcut is going to be Control D on a PC, Command D on a Mac for default transition or dissolve, I usually think of. Command or Control D. So I'm going to do arrow down here. I'm going to land on an edit and I'm going to do Control D. And it just applied the default transition. Now you can expand that. And uh, once you're done with that, if you like the length of that dissolve, you can actually select that dissolve, do Command C and copy, go down to another edit or go up. I'm going to jump up to another edit and do Command V. And it pays Pasted that exact same length, the exact same dissolve on this clip here. So I now we have that dis videos. cross dissolve. I know what Dr. Bass said. There you go. Let's move on to audio transitions. Audio transitions are very, very similar. It's basically going to fade out one audio clip while fading up the other. And you've got a few different effects here. Under audio transitions, you only have a few. You have your crossfade folder with constant gain constant power and ex exponential fade. And notice that the constant power is the default here. And basically the difference between those two is right here, this is a constant gain. Constant gain is just kind of this harsh. You'll have the audio going at a certain level, then all of a sudden it'll just hit this keyframe and it will constantly just turn down. The gain just go, goes down immediately. And then the other clip will just on the straight graph move up. And that doesn't sound very natural. What does sound natural is what is called the constant power. The constant power is more of this gradual. It puts this the volume change on a curve. It basically gradually turns it up and down. And the exponential is a little bit different. The exponential fade is very similar to the constant power, but it gradually comes in off the bottom. It creates more of what's called an S curve and gradually goes off the top. So it's a little bit more natural. Probably exponential fade is the most natural one there, but the constant power sounds natural enough. That's the one that most people use right there. It's the default in Premiere. You can change that to exp exponential fade. Oftentimes what some people will do is they will use the exponential fade just for the fade ins and fade outs of, a, of an entire scene or the entire movie and they will use the constant power to dissolve between audio clips between dialogue during a scene because they're it's it's not as noticeable it's tr just trying to hide the edits during a dialogue scene but the exponential fade is usually used to fade in and fade out at the beginning or ending of a scene this is very similar you can grab these here i'm going to grab the exponential fade i'm going to drop it onto the beginning of the clip here and now let me make this a little bit more gradual and we'll hear this kind of nice soft I can handle being alone. Fade in of the audio. I'm going to crank that up a little bit to hear it. I can handle being alone. That doesn't really work for this clip because she's talking at the beginning, but you hear that gradually fade in. That's how that works, the fade in at the beginning. Now I'm going to move down to this clip here. I'm going to land on this edit and I'm going to grab my constant power, going to drag it and drop it. So that basically was a fade in. This is a cross fade here. This is what's called a cross fade where it's it's very similar to a cross dissolve where one audio clip is fading out and the other one is fading in at the same time. So now as we listen. Been taking the pills. I know what Dr. Bass said. And it's kind of this gradual fade in, fade out, so you don't don't hear that cut between the scene. It's kind of nice to add, add that sometimes between bits of dialogue. Uh, but sometimes you'll hear little pieces of audio bleeding in from other parts, and you might need to shorten this or expand it. The shortcut for that is very similar to the adding the cross dissolve, the cr added cross fade is control, but then you hold shift instead of just control D, you're doing control shift D or on a Mac command shift D. We'll add that dissolve on the edit where your playhead has landed. Go to the beginning of the timeline, hit arrow up to go to the beginning there. And I'm going to do to control shift D. Notice it adds a constant power fade in at the very beginning as well. So now this of course I'll be all gradually fades in. Let's turn this all the way across, Let's expand that there. I'll be all right. I can handle being alone for one night. And you hear the audio gradually turning up from the beginning. This doesn't really work since it's a voiceover right here, but if you hear some uh, outside noise, or crickets chirping, or nighttime sounds, a fade in with the cross dissolve oftentimes works quite well. And this works very similar with a copy and paste. You can copy a certain length. You can select a, an audio transition, control C or command C, land on another edit, command V or control V, and paste that onto another edit.
and this is very similar. You can double click on it and it'll bring up the transition duration. You can change that. You can also select it, go up to the controls panel and manipulate the effect up here as well. Slide it around, change the duration of it as well. So if you have any questions, please post them. And if you have any comments, please post those as well. And that's basically video transitions and audio transitions.